need caffeine. I cannot run without caffeine. You gotta boil the water, then you gotta steep it, so then you've tasted it and it's bitter because you've steeped it for too long. I eat green tea, no thank you. I am not a rabbit. Tea? Really? Tea. Next thing you know, you're just gonna say, let's have a tea party. White gloves and a hat. It's too hot in the summertime to enjoy a nice hot cuppa. It's just not very convenient. It's kind of a hassle. Tea, it all tastes the same to me. I need something that's gonna keep me awake in the morning. Basically, this video is for millennials. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not. Today's video, we're gonna talk about some products, some ways, some methods of how to incorporate more tea in your life. If you really feel like, you know what, I would like to drink more tea. Tea is a little healthier than pop or juice or slushies, energy drinks, coffee. I mean, you know, it really it depends on how you dress your coffee and how you dress your tea. I gotta take baby steps, gotta take baby steps. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some products and some ways to really help help you with your in your tea drinking journey. I just wanna get this out of the way right away. There are tons and tons and tons and tons of different kinds of tea out there. When people think of tea, I think they they don't even think of like Tivana or David's tea. They kind of think of your average grocery store tea, your Earl Grey, your black tea, your plain tea, which there is nothing wrong with plain tea. I myself love black tea. Love a nice cup of iced, love a nice hot cup of, nah, it's not a tea party. My number one tip for those who really want to incorporate tea in their life is drink what you like, okay? So what if some people like straight teas or they don't take sugar in their teas? If you like 15 tablespoons of sugar in your tea, then you like 15 tablespoons of sugar in your tea. I, I think that if you stay on track with tea, and mind you, I'm not an expert, it's just my opinion, um, you're not always going to enjoy all that sugar in your tea. When I was younger, I think I did put about 14 tablespoons of sugar in my tea. There are some teas that I think a little bit of sweetener would help it. If you really branch out and go to places that have higher end or nicer teas, like David's Tea, even in the grocery store. There's plenty of different kinds of tea in the grocery store. Awesome flavors, fruity flavors, highly caffeinated teas, even teas that taste like coffee. So there's no excuse about not getting your caffeine in the morning with a cup of tea. I really think that if you just drink what you like, drink what you like, and drink and by that, I mean, if you can only stand tea as a teapot, by all means, drink tea as a teapot. If you only like iced tea, drink iced tea. Um, it's Tea, to me, I think, is almost like an acquired taste to some people you will eventually like to branch out and try more things. Um, so that's my number one tip. I think people just kind of think, oh, green tea? No, I, mm. Grass, yes, um, that's another tip. Know the temperature that you should steep your tea. Um, I actually had a conversation with a friend over the weekend and she said she hates green tea because it tastes like grass. Do I agree? Yes, I do to an extent. There are some green teas that I absolutely love, but I, I love them because I steep them correctly. Green teas, white teas, you don't want to steep too long, otherwise they will taste bitter and or like grass. And I do have some products that I wanted to talk about that I think will really help make tea drinking easier. I'm, I love this steeper. I personally think that tea is the best in this steeper or in like the actual um, plastic steeper that's like a pitcher but you put your cup on top of it and 
I have a Tivana one, but I forget what it's called. Anyway, um, but this, I love this thing because it has so, the tea has so much room to steep. It's always perfect in this. Um, but I get it. This thing, you got to clean it. They get dirty. They get disgusting. It's, I get it. I get it. Okay. At work, it's kind of a ways from my desk to the kitchen, to the sink rather. My, one thing I absolutely love with loose leaf teas, um, steeper bags. These are so good. These are so good. These in particular are um, David's tea. Any bags will work for your loose leaf tea. I specifically love these because they're a cinch. You basically scoop, cinch, steep, throw away, done. Totally convenient at work. I also really love these. These are the Tiesta Tea recyclable um, steeper bags. These are really good because these are good for mugs because basically you just scoop your tea and then you set it they're they're kind of long and tall so you just leave it in your the side of your mug to steep and then you just kind of fold this over over the lip of the mug so it just kind of sits there and steeps steep throw away done this is a hundred pack I get these at Hy-Vee which I believe is a Midwest um, grocery store another thing I love is the David's tea Tea, iced tea press. I have the iced tea press, but I also have the tea press, which also presses for hot. This thing, I totally love this thing. I did kind of do a mini demo in my Me to We review, um, but it's pretty simple. I'll just explain it here real quick. Um, there's two parts to it. I usually do um, a perfect tablespoon and a half of the David's teaspoon there's a line here you fill it up you steep you fill this part with ice which has a mesh bottom then you put this part on top so you have your ice here you have the water and the tea steeping and once you're done steeping you just push down and now all of the ice has gone into the the water and all of the tea goes down here so all you have is iced tea here then you screw on your top here and there's a nice spout there for a little uh, straw the next item I wanted to talk about is the Takeya flash chill iced tea maker this thing is awesome I would say this is like the number one thing that really keeps us on track with our tea drinking this is a two quart pitcher it comes with an infuser and an infuser holder so what you can do with the Takeya flash chill iced tea maker is um, cold brew coffee um, cold brew iced tea or what we like to do a lot is um, you put your desired amount of tea in the steeper, which actually I keep holding the box. This is an, a backup that we have just because I love them that much that if anything happened to them, I got one on deck. Oh, this is what one. This is what one that we're using looks like. Um, this is what the steeper looks like. I know my steeper is nasty. It does get a little bit dirty, but I mean it. It still works fine. It just gets a little bit stained. Um, so basically you put your de desired amount of tea in the steeper. You fill this about halfway with boiling water or the desired temperature for the type of tea that you're making. You put this inside of the steeper and then you can just kind of close it and you let it steep for however long. You can see it's still open for like pouring and you just let it steep. And then when it's done steeping, let's say it needs to steep for like five minutes, then you pour your ice in there about halfway full or until it fills up. And then you can just close it up, shake, 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 make sure it's nice and cold, nice and iced. And then you have your iced tea. And it's really nice because number one, you can go through your teas a lot faster because you're making them by the pitcher. 
Um, this is nice and skinny, so this can fit in your fridge. And let's say you don't really have somewhere, maybe this is too tall to store it like this. This is leak proof. This is like really tight. You can store it like this and it totally leak proof. Um, but this can also fit in the door of your refrigerator, most refrigerator doors. Um, I love this thing. We love this so much. We actually have two in rotation. So what we do is, um, in one, which I actually have, um, we like to do a caffeinated pitcher, I guess. Usually I do cold brew coffee in this one. I do it overnight. I take the steeper out in the morning. Perfect. We do like between 12 and 16 tablespoons of coffee in the steeper, cold brewed overnight. It's perfect in the morning. You don't have any steps, totally convenient. You literally pour in your to-go mug and pour your creamer, or sweetener, whatever you want done you're good to go if i don't do cold brew coffee in here i like to do a highly caffeinated tea like queen of tarts or something like that um but we always like to have something caffeinated for in the morning in the summertime because we're not really into like hot beverages in the morning um and then for when you're just at home just having dinner want a glass of iced tea i like to have another pitcher with just a nice non-caffeinated um, iced tea. So this one we have Summer Berries from my um, July Sips by Box, I think. It's awesome for like those days when you're like, you come home, you've had a long day, you don't want to boil any water, you don't want to steep, you don't want to wait, you don't want to press, you just want to pour yourself a nice ice cold glass of iced tea. I got that one on Amazon, but you can find them anywhere. There's tons of different brands, and not just Takea. There's tons of different brands of pitchers with infusers um, on Amazon. I do believe, actually, David's Tea has one currently now on sale on the website. They have one, they have a press, a pitcher press on there on sale, and they have a pitcher with an infuser on sale right now. Um, I think Adagio has their version of the same pitcher on their website. I'm not sure. I haven't been on the website in a while. But most most tea companies have like their version of the pitcher. Um, so yeah, those are my tips on how to keep yourself on track to drinking more tea. Um, they've really helped me and my boyfriend out a lot. It's kind of a generational thing. Millennials like the more, they like the easier, the quickest, the least fussiest, the most convenient way of doing things. And I really think that these tips and these products have helped me do that. So I really hope these things help you out. And uh, if you are interested in any of these products, I really encourage you to try them out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao!